Question number eight, Bergen Academy's admission test practice sheet one. This is one of my favorite questions because it shows how um, the test makers think when they put these tests for you. Basically, they know that you can't use a calculator and you should be aware of that. And so the questions that seem to need a calculator probably have some kind of a trick that you just didn't see yet. Let's take a look. Which of the following is closest to 0 0.5 to half? I have four fractions in one decimal. 19 over 47 over 16, 15 over 32, 0 0.4 and 31 over 64. Now, if I was teaching um, this question to one of my SAT classes, they can use a calculator by the way, I would probably tell them, well, just Put each one in the calculator, convert it to a decimal, and see which one is closest to 0 0.5. That is probably the safest way and maybe the fastest. However, you cannot use a calculator. Now, are you going to try to divide these numbers using long division? Okay, which will involve decimals, by the way, because the numerators are all smaller than the denominators. Are you going to try to um, convert all of these fractions? so that would that they would all have a common denominator you could try but it's going to take a very long time and it's not going to be very easy because you see 40 16 32 64 are not exactly numbers that can easily be combined to one denominator easily okay they could but you would need um, a lot of calculations and if you go wrong somewhere then you're done now whenever you feel that way on the test you have to know that there is definitely some kind of trick, okay? And if you look really closely, you will find that trick. Let's take a look. First, these are the numbers I have. 19 over 40, that's A. Then I have 7 over 16, B. 15 over 32, C. Point 0.4, 0 0.4, I need to change that into a fraction as well so that they all look the same. Probably I will find the, the, the trick now. So let's try and put into 4 over 10. 31 over 64 is E. Okay. Now let me take all this and just shift it a little bit to the right so that they are under the their corresponding questions right here. Okay. Now, if you look really closely, the question was asking you about half. Which of these is closest to half? What I would think of is, well, okay, what is half when the denominator is 40 for answer A? Well, half means 20 over 40. Well, let's try B. Half is what over 16? 8 over 16. C. Half is what over 32? 16 over 32. D. Can you see the pattern? What is half over 10? 5 over 10 is half. What is half when the denominator is 64? Half of 64 is 32. Where's the pattern? Where's the secret? The secret is I'm asking you about the difference between each of these numbers and half because I want to know which is the closest. Now, what's the difference between this and this? What's the difference between the answer A and half, which is 20 over 40? The difference is 1 over 40. In B, what's the difference between 7 over 16 and 8 over 16? It's 1 over 16. How about C? It's 1 over 32. Difference in D, 1 over 10. Right, 4 over 10 and 5 over 10, the difference is 1 over 10. 31 over 64 and 32 over 64, the difference is 1 over 64. Ah, there you are. So what is the trick? The trick is the difference between each of these fractions in the question and the number half, 0 0.5, is 1 over that denominator. So for the answer A, the difference was 1 over 40. For answer B, the difference is 1 over 16. That's how close it is to half. The dif in C, the difference is 1 over 32. In D, the difference is 1 over 10. 
and in E, the difference is 1 over 64. Now, I want the closest number to 0 0.5. That means I want the fraction with the least difference because I'm looking for the fraction that is closest to 0.5. Now, which of these in green is the least? Which of these differences in green is the smallest? Well, when you have a 1 in the numerator, they're all common, they all have the same numerator, which is 1, then the smaller number or the smallest number is the one that has the biggest denominator. So the answer would be 1 over 64, because 1 over 64 is much smaller than 1 over 10 or 1 over 32 or 1 over 16 or 1 over 40. So the smallest difference is here, 1 over 64, meaning that the answer E, 31 over 64, is the closest answer to 0 0.5. Now, at home, you do have a calculator. Take out these calculators and try. Convert each of these answer choices into decimals and look which one is the closest to 0 0.5. The answer will be E. Now, again, this is a typical example of tricky questions on the test. They're not tricky because they're hard. They're tricky because you can't use a calculator. They're tricky because you don't have a lot of time. And if you look really closely and find this little trick, you should be fine.